Hello, this is Abraham at Nashor Computer Services, and uh, what we have here today is a Lenovo IdeaPad Slim. It's not an expensive computer, and it ha does not have a removable hard drive. So the hard drive is on board, and uh, the hard drive on this computer failed. So if we turn it on, it's going to go into the repair. And uh, I did a video on this, but this is a more complete video. Uh, I wasn't ready for what the computer was going to throw at me. I had to leave and now I'm back. So here you have automatic update. So automatic uh, repair, I'm sorry. So it's just going to go through and not, not ever start. Usually this would be a glaring problem with a hard drive. Uh, if a hard drive was replaceable or solid state, I'd replace the, the drive. In this case, it's on board, cannot be replaced. So we're gonna try and fix it. What happened in the first video is, uh, as we put the uh, installation a USB, uh, it did not see the internal hard drive, which means it needs a driver for the hard drive. Let me show you how the driver is obtained. So let me pause this. Uh, on the Lenovo's website, you just type in the laptop model name. You can do a search by serial number. I didn't find search, I just typed in the model name. It gave me my uh, ability to download drivers for it and the driver you're looking for is motherboard devices core chipset onboard video pcie switches and this one is a bayhop tech integrated emmc driver for windows 10. once you download it it will be in your downloads folder which is right here that's downloads and uh let's see double clicking on that file asks you what you want to do and then choose the language accept next and this is where you want to do just extract okay so we don't need to install the driver the computer is not working so it's not going to help us we just do extract next it's going to ask us for where you want to place that driver. I'll cancel because I already ran it. And here it is. It's under OS, MIC drivers, EMMC driver. It gives it some cryptic numbers here. I just changed it. Now you need to take this folder and uh, let me, you plug in your Windows installer. Uh, this is what the installer will look like, and here is the folder just copied into the flash drive. All right, that's all you need to do on another computer, assuming you have another computer. If you ha don't have another computer, you have to use someone else's computer. We're back at the computer. We got our USB. I'm going to plug it in. So this USB already has the folder with the driver on it. We are going to push and hold F12. So push and hold, tap the power, make the computer turn on. Okay, we're gonna boot from the SanDisk. Enter. And again, this computer was not expensive to begin with. Um, I don't know what it cost, but it wasn't expensive. But I'm not ready to throw away a computer that hasn't been damaged, hasn't been wasted, hasn't been cracked. You know, uh, it deserves a chance. I'm not getting paid for it. Someone who had this computer said, nope, I don't want it. So let's click next. Install. Uh, all the steps here are fairly straightforward. Uh, it's loading probably some uh, executables for Windows installation. 
All right, accept, next, custom. And this is the problem. So we don't see the hard drive. We're going to click on load driver. We're going to click on browse. We're going to click on our installation USB. Here is the folder. I just called it INV or LNV Lenovo Idea SLM, Lenovo Idea Slim. Double click on that. Click OK. And as we can see, there is the driver. We click Next. The system is going to do some thinking. It's going to pull in the driver. Uh, and uh, on the next screen, we should be able to see our hard drive. Here it is. So the hard drive has been partitioned into multiple partitions. We don't need any of them. I have tried to do a system restore. It failed, didn't want to work. So we're going to delete delete windows delete there's nothing on this computer that we need uh, total space is 58.2 uh, the hard drive in here is 64 gigabytes not much but something and uh, 64 gigabytes is not what you get when, when you format your hard drive or when you make the hard drive available um, and that always puzzled me uh, but when you think about hard drive it's a storage space so when you go to any warehouse what do you see there even if there is no products you see shelves warehouse without shelves is just an empty space so total space of a hard drive is total empty available area and uh, once you put in the shelves it decreases the amount of area um, you don't see it because you have to use shelves but they are taking a lot of space and uh, when you look at the warehouse while it's being built and all, all the shelves are on the pallets sitting in the corner you can see that it takes a lot of space well in any case that's what's happening here I'm gonna pause it and let the system go through and then we'll see how it goes further what I should do probably is uh, have a live uh, chat with uh, everybody and uh, do this live someday. Uh, it's been checking along for about 10 minutes, so it is right now in a position to just do the start of uh, the screen, uh, you know, where we can continue doing the setup. Uh, so far, it seems to be going okay. Uh, it did restart a few times. There is our screen. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Yep. A little I'm sign in here, on. a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll... Yeah, I don't want to hear you. The lens and the camera is crooked. Ooh. You can see that there is more distance here. If I try to straighten them, this becomes crooked. So if I lay this out. Well, okay. We just click yes here. Skip. And we're not going to be connecting to the network just yet. We're going to go with limited setup. And uh, just put and in right there. Next, 
no need for password, not yet. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uncheck. Uncheck. I was going to talk about why I leave the first two checked. Location services helps um, in uh, when you go online, it picks your um, area. So if you're searching for something, it's going to know where you are. Uh, and uh, <coughs> here we are. Oh, online speech recognition. Don't need that. They used to have location and find my devices. This one here. You can enable find my device because if you sign into the Microsoft account, it'll know the location. They changed this around on me a little bit. Or it may be that this is an older version of the Windows setup. At this point, uh, it looks like it's working. Let's pull this out. I am not sure what they're doing right now behind the scenes. I wish I did because if it's setting up a home folder, it does not take that long to create a couple of folders. It most likely copies some stuff back and forth. Um, for those that don't know this, Microsoft Office is not a separate program from Windows. It is a very well integrated program. So when you download the mm -hmm. new version of Microsoft mm -hmm. Office, well, of course, somebody called me and the computer already is working. So here we have, uh, so far, uh, let me just do a restart. Let's see. Start. Okay. I am not liking this camera on the phone. It confuses itself on where it needs to do, it needs to focus. I'm trying to lock in the focus and uh, then it loses its lock not sure what that's all about and i can't switch to manual <clears throat> okay so I don't know if the hard drive in here or solid state is in perfectly good order. Like I said before on a different video, this could be a doing of a virus. <clears throat> it could be that some updates didn't go in right. I'm going to install all the updates into the computer, see if it uh, works. On one of the computers that I did similar thing for, which was uh, Microsoft Surface, uh, it needed a BIOS update. It was crashing after installing updates. So BIOS update fixed that. Uh, so computers need BIOS updates um, just as well as Windows updates. They're very important. Um, <clears throat> the newer computers don't work the same as the old one where the BIOS was a completely separate thing from the operating system. Uh, they're bringing them closer together. So BIOS needs to be updated when you install Windows updates, <clears throat> if there is a BIOS update. Hopefully this helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Enjoy, subscribe if you like my videos, give me a like and uh, ask questions. Um, <clears throat> thank you. Oh, save money all the time. Save money. <laughs>